everybody, welcome back to Mama Thieves Texas Kitchen. Tonight I have a special recipe. We're gonna start here. I've got three russet potatoes that I have peeled. We're gonna make some mashed potatoes. Um, I'm just gonna cube these up real quick. In my pan, I have some salted water with just a little bit of uh, regular butter. I don't think I have to mention the plant butter again, do I? This is real butter. Um, my daughter's back there giggling at me. She laughs at me every time I, I gripe about the plant butter. I looked at it at HEB today. Did y'all know they charge nearly $3 for that crap? If you're gonna buy margarine, just buy the Imperial 79 cent crap. Anyway, I'll stop griping about the plant better. No, I really won't. I'll still, I'll still gripe about it. Anyway, <clears throat> so it is Friday here in Southeast Texas. It is kind of rainy and yucky and I wanted to make something really kind of special. I had a piece of venison backstrap in my freezer that we wanted to get used up and we are making it in the air fryer so i am excited about that and we're just going to make some mashed potatoes with it so i am just cubing up these three russets and then we're going to get this to going and then i'm going to show you how we're going to season up that back strap my mother has it so i can say it now we got her an air fryer just like ours and they are having so much fun so in our um, water here, I'm putting a little bit of Tony's. You know I love my Tony's. And I am putting a little bit of garlic powder. Okay, I've already got some salt in there. Got some butter. We're gonna set this on the stove, get it on high. I've covered it and um, we're gonna get that to go. I'll be back in just a minute. I'll show you how we're gonna season up this piece of back strap and get it in the air fryer. We'll be right back. Okay. I have these two pretty, look at this, nice uh, backstrap steaks um, that I am going to season with um, some salt and pepper. We have a, a friend that, that deer hunts and he uh, blessed us with the uh, some backstrap. I'm putting some garlic on it. And I am putting some, a little bit of Tony's on it. Now, uh, with any Thing that I cook in my air fryer, I do put olive oil on it. Um, I've had, Papa Z, will you open that up? Um, like I tell people all the time, um, they're like, well, oh, my air fryer makes my meat kind of dry or whatever. Put some olive oil on it. Anything that you cook in your air fryer, just put a little bit of oil on it. To me, it helps it. So, now, my air fryer, and I am putting it um, fat side up. So, my air fryer has a steak setting. I'm going to put it on that steak setting and um, let it cook. Halfway through, we're going to take it out and turn it over. So, we're going to set that in. Um, if you'll go ahead probably, and set that up. We're going to put it in and then halfway through we will take it we'll flip it and then we'll bring it back if it needs a little bit more then we'll cook it a little bit more but um usually it, it's about perfect we'll bring you back show you how everything looks all right see you see you back here in just a little bit hey guys welcome back my potatoes are done i've got um about a quarter of a stick of butter in here i'm going to pour a little bit of just whole milk Um, now you can do this any way you like. I'm using a, an immersion uh, blender. I 
I just like how it creams up my potatoes. It's quicker than dra dragging out the, the big mixer. Now I've seen this done 5,000 different ways. People heat up their milk, they do. I don't do all that, it, it takes too much time. Some people don't put milk, some people use broth, some people... I'm just an old country cook. I use a little bit of milk, a little bit of butter. And then I just mash all this up. Make some creamy mashed potatoes. This steak is looking pretty good over here, guys. Okay, and that's all there is to that. Okay, I'm going to clean this up, and then we're going to bring you up back, and I'm going to show you how we're going to slice this steak up. We are slicing this up. This is a, a perfect medium. It's kind of... In the middle, I would say it's more medium rare, which is right where Papa Z likes it. I am more of a medium person, so it's an ongoing thing for us. This little piece, I'm hoping, is a little bit uh, more medium, <laughs> uh, but let me show y'all a little closer to the, the camera here. I would say this turned out pretty well. What do you think, Papa Z? He said a bite of it. How'd it turn out? He, he says it's damn good, so there you go. You can't get any better than that. All right, we're gonna finish up here, eat supper. You guys have a great night. I would say uh, air fryer venison is uh, the way to do it, guys. It's pretty tender and it, it just cuts like butter. So there you go. It uh, really is tender. and Most of the time that turned out really tough for me. So it's awesome. All right, another air fryer um, recipe for the win. So thank you all again. Be sure and like, subscribe and share. Uh, that's important and I appreciate y'all so much. God bless, have a good night.